Hi everyone, in this video I will demonstrate creating a quote inside of Mobile Quote. So to do that, click the little plus sign in the upper right hand corner, and that will open up this new quote form. You are required to enter a quote name, so I'll go ahead and do that. And then you can select a project theme if you'd like. These are built into the app, and you can have none. Some residential samples shown here, or commercial samples. And all this does is put a picture at the top of the interface. Uh, it's up to you if you want to use these or not. I'll go ahead and select Modern, choose Next. On this step, you are required to enter a client name, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then if you'd like, you can import a contact from your iPad. I'll go ahead and do that as well. I will choose this contact. You can see down here, um, click the Next button. Here you can select a project type. Project type synchronized down from SI, and if you click on it, you'll see that there are three default options here, but of course you can set your own up in SI and sync those down to your iPad. And a project type dictates the taxes and the labor tax that are charged by default for a quote. Um, you can also choose some of the other settings on the next steps, uh, like the contingency and the retainer. You'll see that on the last step. Uh, the project types also have locations and systems preset inside of SI that synchronize down uh, when you're creating a quote, so you won't have to build the room list or the system list from scratch. On this step you can also set a target budget for the quote. It's uh, just for reference, but if you've discussed a budget you can enter that here. You can also enter a labor difficulty factor. This multiplies by the hours that are assigned to the items within a quote. Um, that's how labor is charged, based on the labor rate also dictated by the project type selected above. If you were to set the labor difficulty factor to 150%, for example, all of the hours inside of the quote will be multiplied by 150%, so one and a half times the amount of hours you would normally charge. Also on this screen, you can set your price or quality level. Uh, the default is better, but you have good, better, or best. And these are the three price quality levels that are synced down from SI for your items. So each item could have a good, better, and a best price, depending on how you've set up your SI catalog for sync. I'll go ahead and leave this set to better and click the next button. On this step, you can enter a scope of work. If you click in that field, it will open an editor here, and you can uh, type in a scope of work, or you can use the um, voice to text option on your iPad. Um, you can even copy and paste into here. And there's also editing options here along this uh, middle bar. So I'll go ahead and enter a scope of work here. And when done, go ahead and click Save. Now, if you want to set a meeting objective, you can do that right here as well. Meeting objective synchronized from SI as well. This dictates the text that you're going to see when approving the quote. You'll see that in later videos. But here you can see some of the default ones that we've shipped the software with. Uh, define scope, scope and budget approval, design retainer approval, and contract approval. I'm going to choose scope and budget approval for this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and click next. On this step, you can decide whether or not you want to require a retainer or a deposit, and that could be based on a percentage of the items in labor in the project, or you could choose a fixed amount, or you could do a price per square foot if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and choose not to require one. And then you can also decide if you want to use a contingency here, and this is by default set to 10% because of the project type that I selected at the beginning of this. Uh, you can change that here if you want, and you can turn it on or off. Uh, when you're done, go ahead and click Done and the quote will open for edit. And the picture along the top was dictated by the project theme that was selected in step one of creating a new quote. Um, in other videos, I'm gonna talk about the rooms and the systems and how to add items to a quote. But for now, I'm gonna show you how you can access those settings that were in that new quote wizard. Here along the top, you'll see a button called quote settings. And if you click that, that will open this up and you'll be able to edit any of those. You can scroll up to see all of your options.